All right, this is a used paper machine for making accurate test sheets of paper from a sample of pulp stock. The machine was commonly used in pulp and paper mills, chemical manufacturers and paper labs, but it could also be used by an artist or school for making decorative handmade paper. The machine consists of multiple apparatus mounted to one table, each of which completing a unique task in the process. Since the machine was built a few decades ago, it was constructed with many high quality materials such as brass copper as well as heavy duty castings for the main machine bases. The main apparatus that make up the machine are the proportional assembly, this is copper drum here. the sheet mold press assembly, the press, the hot plate, and the rotating drying assembly. first step is to use the proportioner for calibrating the slurry. So you put the slurry in here from the Hollander beater and you set this depth gauge to a specified depth that the manual states. Uh, then you add the slurry and then you turn on the agitator which suspends the slurry and then you're ready to take the a sample of the slurry out and so you quickly push up on this until you have the required amount uh, I think it's about two cups and then you take that pulp stock and you put it into the to the forming box here You dump it in there, and then you agitate it three quick times with the perforated plate. And then you open the drain in the bottom and let it drain out. Then you open the, the deckle box and you have your, your pulp mat on top of the Monel screen and then it's ready to be pressed. So you take it over here to the press and put it through the press. And then after that, you take the pulp and the screen and put it in the dryer, the rotating drum dryer assembly. So we can just turn that on to show you the speed. So it's just a slow rotating heated drum with a, a felt pad on it to help absorb the moisture with a variable speed. Uh, here's the press. switch for the hot plate and then the hot plate is mainly used during the proportioning procedure. Uh, there's a procedure for to in order to get consistent sheets you make one sheet according to the the height you set on this gauge and then after the sheet um, is made then you weigh it and then using another scale you know how much to add back into the slurry drum in order to get every sheet after that consistent. So there it is, you can see it's made with a lot of brass and copper, uh, heavy duty castings, 
for anything that is powered and rotates and it's just an overall very good condition and we also have the the Hollander beater that you would need uh, to, to beat the pulp before you put it into this machine.